everyone welcome back to my channel now I facilitate two workshops and there's one reason why I am making this video today I noticed there are some people who are who don't have a clue about working on a machine right they only know there's a this is a machine but they want to just go straight onto the machine and do not know how to control it don't know the functions of the machines and things like that it doesn't work like that if you would like to learn or if you have an interest in sewing no matter what if you want to make a scarf you want to put a zipper in you want to do upcycling anything you want to do on a machine always remember you have to know your machine so before any further ado i am going to jump into this video and show you all the functions of this specific machine that I have it's quite easy to operate for a beginner so don't be alarmed when you go on a machine it's never it might be a bit like I don't know right just take your time I always tell my attendees this is very similar to driving when I said that it's about controlling the machine all right so let's just hop right into this and I hope you enjoyed the video at the same time thank you guys for coming back again and Let's get into it. All right, so this is the machine I'm gonna be showing you. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see this, hopefully you can. All right, so this is our machine. This is a simple, easy machine for beginners. Very, very easy. This is, the brand is Silvercrest. Um, this machine was bought in Little and it's it's okay to be fair it works really good the bag that i made in my previous video this is the machine i used to make it it works fine right so one of the downside with this machine that i do not like is that at the top here this this one this um piece here for the thread it broke off on some machines when you have this you can press this down and it goes down maybe to this height so it doesn't get the chance to break off if you put it in a bag or something other than that i like the machine for beginners okay here is another one for your thread and the next thing we are going to do is show you the different parts of this machine okay the first thing i'm going to show you is this one the thread lever is a thread take up lever this right so this one is the bobbin guide it's a bobbin thread guide and then this one this dial right here this is to adjust your tension with your thread this other dial is for your width guide and I'm gonna show you while I'm moving this how the needle is moving as well okay so I put place a paper behind here so you can see once I turn this dial once I turn this dial, you're going to see how those, the needle move in below here. Alright, so you see the needle moving? That's because I'm turning this dial. Alright, so whether you want the needle to be positioned in the middle, on the left or on the right, you use this dial to do that. So this dial here is for your stitch length, right? So you have numbers from zero to four, and you also have S2 and S1. I have never used these. So while I operate the machine, we're gonna try these, and then we're gonna see what it looks like. Then you have this one, which is your pattern dial. And this one have all the, the, the patterns. You have your buttonhole patterns right here. You select the first one. Then you have the second one. And then you have the third one. Then you have your straight stitch here. Then you have all your zigzag. You go around and you see all the other patterns. All right, so we're gonna leave that on the straight stitch. So that's that. All right, so this is your sewing table here. This is where you have your fabric. This one is your needle plate. So next, this is your presser foot. All right, and your presser foot is very important when you're sewing. 
some some presser foot the lever to lift it is on the side on this specific machine your lever is right at the back let me turn it so you can see this is your lever to lift your presser foot so if I said to you lift your presser foot you either go on the side or at the back here and you just lift it up right and once you lift it up you can see how your presser foot is up right you place your material under and you put it down that's it okay so with this machine as well you have an automatic needle threader and that's the good thing that's why I said this machine is really good because some machines don't have it and this is your automatic needle threader I've never used it because I just don't bother with that but it's always good to know you have this so say for example if you want to thread the needle and we're gonna try that as well if you want to thread the needle you thread it you, I mean you bring it this way and then you go across here and you pull this down and automatically this would go right across I'm gonna show you closer as well so say for example I'm threading the needle and I have the thread down here I am going to put the thread around this little hook right here and then I'm just gonna press this down and once you press this down there is something at the back here I don't know if you can see it I'm actually lifting the machine because I really want you guys to see all right and once you bring that down set to thread the needle automatically you see that thing coming in the back there yeah so once you press that down all the way it goes right around the needle and it threads it for you automatically and that's what they're talking about all right the next thing is the thread cutter so once you finish sewing you lift your foot and you bring your thread out you come over this way and that's your automatic cutter right here there's a tiny blade right in here to just bring that and cut your thread look so say you bring your thread out this is your thread and you go this way right see all right I'm not sure you see that but that's what it does cut your thread right here so you have your reverse sewing lever which is this and when it says reverse is basically your back stitch if you have your fabric under and you start sewing always back stitch you hear someone said to you back stitch always back stitch your beginning and the end you start a couple of stitch you go that way and once you press down it goes back it's a reverse and you let it go it comes forward and you keep sewing when you reach the end again your back stitch and that's it this is your bobbin stopper bobbin winder stopper and this is your bobbin winder spindler or spindle so basically once you have your bobbin on top of this all right so once you have your bobbin down on top of that and you bring that like that once you wind in the thread onto this and it's read and it reaches the capacity it's supposed to be that's supposed to be on the bobbin it's just gonna stop so this is what this is used for next one you have your handle and this is basically to carry your machine all right that's that one and at the side this is your hand wheel and you notice this is the direction it goes it shows you there are some people who turn the wheel back this way this is the direction you are supposed to turn your wheel your wheel is supposed to turn towards you always towards you that's what I want to show you that's very important all right so at the side here you have your power switch to switch the light on and off right that's when you know your machine is on when the light is on and this is your 
this is the main plug socket right here and the next thing I want to show you is your bulb right well, if you have to change this bulb under here you would have to take this whole thing off in order to change this bulb and this is the screw right here always remember when you have to open your machine turn your switch off first let me show you this bit here where that is the sewing table there's a drawer right here you slide this out on some machines it will have the arrow but this machine it doesn't so know that you just have to pull this out hmm? pull this this way and in this compartment here is all your accessories that the machine comes with one more thing I need to show you before I move on to the accessories I'll bring this up and I'm gonna switch the machine back on and I'm gonna show you how you can remove this foot and this is the all-purpose foot you know you use this foot for a lot of things so always remember and this demonstration is only for beginners there's a lot of people who not taking proper care while they're on the machine which can be dangerous always switch off your machine switch off the power all your functions here you can still operate them except when you're pressing the foot the foot pedal right okay so in order to remove this foot right here I always recommend lift the foot up first and then you see this lever right here this is what you have to press in you see the foot drop you press that in and the foot drop then you can remove that okay. and to put the foot back in you place it right under where it came from this with that little groove you place it right under here and you have this bar going across where this with the groove is gonna drop right on top of it okay so let me see if I can bring that in slightly closer all right so that's a bit closer so to put the foot back in just raise the needle as well right you put the foot back in right in the groove the same one to lift your foot and you adjust your foot and with that you put it all the way down and it grab the foot and you can lift it up it's quite simple all right so again to remove your foot you lift the lever up to lift the foot and then to remove the foot in order, like if you're changing it into a zipper foot or something, this lever back here, you press it in. And you see, it dropped the foot. So now you can remove that. So now let us go into the accessories that the machine came with. So this comes with four bobbins. It comes with the all-purpose foot, the one that I demonstrate with you, demonstrate to you on with this machine. And then you have the invisible zipper foot, which is this, is such a very good foot to have. That's it. This is it right here. And then it has a zipper foot. You know, sometimes you're putting in your zippers. This is for the invisible and this is just the regular. And you can use this for invisible zippers as well because I've used this for invisible zippers. And then you have the button sewing foot. This one, this is the clear one. You have this other foot. I know some of you might wonder what foot is this? This is a foot you use to make buttonholes. All right, so this one is a needle threader. I don't ever use these things. And this is a felt cushion. And this felt cushion is basically, when you have your, your thread on these things. You put this down on that, and you put your thread on. 
it comes with this oil which is very helpful it comes with this needle box here and I think he had one two three four five needles in this only one left and it also have this type of screwdriver it's a l-shaped type of screwdriver and this is an embroidery plate basically yeah it's an embroidery dawning plate and I am so happy for this to be honest because I'm going to be doing some embroidery in the future next one is this edge quilt guide right so the next one is these spool cups you got a large one and a small one all right so the battery died while I was recording this all right so the next thing this comes with uh, it comes with this screwdriver here this other screwdriver and this is quite a thick one and it comes with the seam ripper and your seam ripper you open that and you put it like this always remember when you come when you have your seam ripper they always come covered because it's a safety issue you take it off and you replace it back down in that as you know so you can always have your cover safe and then you use it like that once you're finished with your seam ripper because this is quite sharp you take that off and you place it back in here right so that's what it comes with the next thing it comes with is this dust cover which is very useful prevent dust from accumulating too much on your machine and it also comes with this book so you have your book to help you if you don't understand your machine and that's that really good machine I can't fault it but this machine I think is really good for beginners and even for advanced sewers as I said because I am using this machine all right so this is it for this demonstration and in the next video I am going to show you how I thread the machine and how to operate it thank you for watching and I'll see you next time